Hi everyone, welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs. My name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to edit and make changes to system defaults for the different functions, such as copy and scanning, from both the touchscreen panel of your copier as well as your web user interface. So, without further ado, let's get started. System defaults, uh, including things such as one or two-sided, uh, your scan resolution, your scan file format, color versus black and white, can all be configured from the touchscreen panel of the copier. So the first thing we'll do is we'll select the gray system menu button. And then from here on the right-hand side, you'll see an option for common settings. On the second page, you're going to have an option for function defaults. Select that. Now, in this series of pages here, we can see the vast selection of different defaults here. What you'll notice is that when a default can apply to more than one feature set, you will see after the option, the in parentheses, the feature set it applies to. For example, if you look towards the bottom of the screen here, you'll see color selection, copy, and then across from it, color select, send and store. Send and store is your scanning feature set, while as copy is your copying interface. If I want to make a change here, I'll select change, and then change everything to black and white. If I want to edit my scan resolution, for example, I'll go to 200 by 400 DPI, uh, from 300 by 300 DPI, and so on and so forth down the line. I can change almost every single default uh, function within these five pages here. Uh, once I have made the settings choices that I wish to change, I will hit close, close, and then close one more time. And then I will hit the reset button of the copier three times. That ensures that the function settings have taken the defaults that we have entered. Next, I want to discuss changing the default settings from the web user interface of the copier. This is helpful if you are editing the default settings of a copier that is physically far away, say at another site or several floors below you or above you. In order to do this, we do need the printer IP address. So if you need to find that information, please watch our video on how to locate the IP address of your printer. First thing we'll do after we have that IP address is we will log into the web user interface of the copier via a web browser. In order to do so, you'll enter in the IP address of your uh, copier. It'll take you to the Command Center Rx for Kyocera's, um, and this will allow us to edit our default settings. So from the home screen, if I want to edit these settings after I have logged in as an admin, and in order to do so, you'll enter in your admin credentials. If you're unaware of what those are, please reach out to your Kyocera service provider, and they'll be more than happy to provide them. Once you have logged in as an admin, you will go to Function Settings and you will have the option for common slash job defaults. And in here, you will see how slightly laid out differently than uh, on the actual touchscreen interface, but you will see all the same default options and you can make changes here at your leisure. Once you have made all the changes that you are intending upon making, you'll simply scroll to the bottom of the screen and click Submit. And then just like before, you'll have to hit Reset on the function in order for it to take. And then that, we'll change those default settings. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems. In today's video, we discussed how to edit default settings for copying and scanning from the touch screen of the copier, as well as the web interface. I wanna thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you, and have a great day.